All right, my friends, if you have the need for speed out on the road, you've got a couple options. And today, we're going to discuss what they are. So let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another great episode of Bike Showcase on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you? I'm doing good. Nice. Now, we've already recorded one episode, so, so I know how his up. weekend is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to ask it. He's waking up, so we're getting there, guys. And once again, we're coming from the coming to you from the Trek Bicycle Store of West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona, because where the cool kids hang out, and me. And today, as I alluded to in the intro, we are talking about two road bikes, two very fast road bikes, but built for two different types of riding and riders in the Trek Madone. Mm. Now this is the Gen 5. This is Gen 6. This is Gen so 6. Sorry. It's not the Gen not 7. The new one. So, but still very relevant as far as that we goes. We continue producing the Gen 6 along with the Gen 7. There you go. And we have the Amunda, and this is an SL6, and this is an SL5. SL5. And this is the current Gen, though, of correct. the Amunda. So That's correct. We're close, and I've ridden both these bikes to very, very different as far as that goes. Neither one of these bikes is really built for me. That's okay. <laughs> I've accepted that. This is why I have the checkpoint and soon to have a Domani. Um, but we're going to get into, you know, exactly what the difference is on these bikes, what riders, roadies can expect talking to you there, Obi-Wan, <laughs> um, even though I know the truth um, can expect <laughs> from these bikes and uh, hopefully help you guys come to a decision on which one is going to be the better ride for you. Um, now, when it comes to group sets, these are pretty evenly matched. This one has an Altegra, yes, this one has 105, 105, but you and I have talked about 105 is an amazing group, all right? It's all anyone needs. It, yeah. Now, granted, Brandon but and I, don't I ride it. Yeah, <laughs> we well, I have it on the SL5 on my checkpoint, and it's great. It's good. You know, it's very, there's, very there's good. nothing wrong with it. There really mm -hmm. isn't, but yes. We tend to do a little higher on the <laughs> on the group with, when it comes to that. Because we're jerks. We are. I prefer to say bougie, but he's a jerk because he's a roadie. I'm mountain bike, so. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. Um, so we have Altegra and we have 105. So in my opinion, very evenly matched on the group set. You're going to save a little weight on the Altegra. Right? right. Both very good. Yeah. Um, disc brakes, through axles. Um, yeah. Now, both of these are mechanical bikes too. We're not uh, DI2 at this level. Right, not at this price point. Mm -hmm. At which price point we have uh, 3350 and 4730. Yeah. So there's $1,300 and price difference. Be advised too, this is our entry level Madone. If you want a Madone, you're forking out right. 5,000 bucks. Yeah. The Amanda actually still comes in a, in a aluminum version that starts just over 2300 bucks. Okay. So you can get into an Amanda, still an awesome bike, still has a great ride characteristic, but an aluminum for, geez, half of, half of half where of the these price, guys start. Right. So again, yeah, where your budget is too is gonna dictate. Um, <clears throat> we also have aero rims on the Madone, yeah, which it's designed to be more aero anyways. Mm -hmm. Now, when we start getting into the ride characteristics, um, differences and I'm going I'm not going to try to force Brandon to remember the weight I'm mm -hmm. going to now <laughs> post what the weight is between these two um, but man this was when I got on this the, it, the stance was so aggressive it is it was I don't know to me it just felt unnatural Madonna is not for everyone so now even though this one isn't Mondo's for Mondo's not either. for anyone, everyone either. Right. <laughs> That's the Domani. Domani's for really for yeah. everyone. <laughs> but this one was definitely had a less aggressive stance. Like I could ride this one longer easily, more easily than I could this bike. But this one was fast. Oh, was it fast? Responsive, just snappy. Mm. Yeah. Not quite, you could feel it, but where this one I felt excelled was, was cornering. It's like really coming out of there. You can just rock it. Rail it right out of the and corner. And I'm a Mondo. fluffy kid, guys, and I'm telling you that this <laughs> rocketed out of the corner. So, yep. um, so yeah, just really, so so who are these bikes? Let's start talking about who these bikes are for, because when it comes to all the, the nuances and everything, the group, the weight and everything, I think this is a byproduct. Let's talk about really who the Madone is for. Right. I love selling the Madone. Again, I don't think the Madone is for everybody because of what you, you know, 
kind of alluded to earlier, but for that person who wants to really get serious into triathlons, this okay. is a great place to start because our tri bike now starts at nine thousand bucks. Right. For and if you're doing a sprint, this is going to be an awesome tool for that job for half the price of our speed concept. Right. So it's awesome for that. It's an awesome bike for that guy that on the group ride likes to get on his own, mm -hmm. maybe push the pace out front. <laughs> and by the way, in a group ride, the Madone floats through a pace line. I've ha I've been very lucky to be on both very high end um, bikes, both Amanda Amanda and the Madone, and I know that. The Amana doesn't float through a pace line like the Madone does. Oh, it is just, it, it almost drives itself. Yeah. It's really fun it, that it is. Is, in that it respect. Really is. It's really, really good. Um, downside to all that aerodynamics, though, um, the one I had had uh, five uh, 50 millimeter rims, winds, trucks go by you, you can noticeably feel the difference yeah. uh, when you're riding a Madone than Except the Except you're fat like me, and then you kind of stay stable. <laughs> Sorry. So that's fluffy. the one. That's the one down downside of that is that yeah. it is very susceptible to wind. I felt like uh, as compared to any other bike that I had ever, ever ridden before. Okay. So. All right. Well, yeah, and that's something that should be noted. So but especially if you're riding aerial, in an area fun. where your roads mm -hmm. are high traffic. Right. That type of thing. It's fun if you're riding by yourself. It's fun if you're riding in a group. It's it's a rocket ship. I always called it a rocket ship. The one mm -hmm. that I had. This guy is a little more catering to climbing. A little more all around riding this is okay. a fantastic climbing bike and again what you were talking about before coming out of a corner on one of these things maybe a crit bike be a fantastic crit bike okay as well yeah no god i didn't even think i haven't seen it yeah quite racing jesus forever they used to have them out of south mountain i don't know if yeah. they still do valley of the sun is coming up again in okay. a couple of months and okay. so downtown phoenix uh, the crit race will be okay uh, going on. that is a really really fun event it's a figure eight Ah. So if you sit right in the middle of figure eight, you get a lot of action. Cool. It's really good. All kinds of skill levels. The dates, I'll have to take some photo and A lot of skill that. levels. Share that, that with you guys. Is really fun. It's close by my house. So my wife and I like to take the cruisers down there. And I uh, hear bourbon after the after well, the Well, we race. take beer down there, but <laughs> yeah. I'd much rather drink and watch people uh, race than actually race myself. Race yourself. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So we're not quite an all-around bike, but it definitely has more versatility than the Madone. I think... Yes. No, it's That's a, a hard question. Is it a hard That's question? a little bit of a hard question, I feel like, yeah. You know what's not there. hard to do, though, is hitting the like and the subscribe <laughs> button and the bell notification icon. You keep up to date on all the videos. Yeah. So, <laughs> And this is completely off topic, but we did have a one of our subscribers, longtime subscriber, actually point out that the Domani, the Amanda, and the Madone all use the same letters. Yeah, I hate that. You know, he hates it. I thought it was like, all right, there's a fun, <laughs> useless trivia fact, but you know, hey, we appreciate it. Still to this day, they tongue tie me when I'm talking about all three of them at the same time. I'll, I'll Peter Piker, pickle, 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 pickle peppers. <laughs> How fast could a woodchuck, 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 if it a woodchuck, could chuck wood? Oh, nicely done. Yeah. All right, so let's get back on topic. <laughs> We've already been told that we talk too much, so. Okay, so. Super fast, rocket ship, floats, triathlon, yeah. half the price of the uh, Speed Concept bike, which Speed Concept bike is nice. It's not my bike, but mm -hmm. it's it's still a nice bike. So for that person that's looking to step up a level, this is a great option. Yes. For the person that wants a climber, something they could do crite races with, maybe they're going out on maybe the shorter rides, the 30, 40 mile rides, this one's gonna be actually really responsive and fun to ride as yeah. well. So. Yep. That's in a on nutshell. On the edge of endurance, in a but nutshell. not quite They're there. They're both fantastic bikes. They're oh, yeah. both really fun to ride. Um, again, it's going to come down to preference again. Mm -hmm. That's, I can't. Ergonomics. Can't, uh... I, well, and I say, and when I say ergonomics, and I say it in the camera industry all the time, and Brandon talks about preference, you have to enjoy riding whatever bike you purchase, okay? Yes, I purchased some bikes just because I got to have it. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't fit me well, I'm not going to buy it, no matter how cool or trick or rad I think it might be. Right. It, you know, And that's why neither one of these is in my garage or even on the list. As much as I enjoy these bikes, they just don't fit. It's my ergonomics, my preference on these. So keep that in mind, my friends. Yep. This is why you come to a dealer, your local dealer, not necessarily a truck dealer, but your local dealer, you talk to the people there, you take a couple bikes for a test ride, if you have an opportunity, rent one, so you can get the bike 
that is best yeah. suited for your needs. And let's also plug getting a fit done. No matter what road bike you get, yep. please get a fit done. Right, even on if your it's a basic bike. fitment, that, that level yep. one fitment. Now, I will put a card up top. I had the fitment done here, the 3D fitment, which was absolutely amazing. And it's nice because every bike I've bought since, they just bust out all my measurements. Right. And it right, translates right over yep, to the right out of the bike. gate, the bike feels amazingly good. So I, I can't say enough good things about that. Brandon, I think we're done saying enough good things about <laughs> these two bikes as well, too. In all seriousness, guys, there's not much to talk about with these bikes. They're great for what they do. They're great for the riders that choose them. If you're so inclined and you have the means, <laughs> buy one of each like me. You guys know I got a sickness with bikes. I got all kinds of bikes, you know, for different reasons and stuff like that. But if you're going to have to choose one, hopefully this video helps you make that decision. So on that note, what do we say? Like, subscribe, bell notification. Why? Helps out the video, helps out the channel. If you have, there's going to be links down below. Trek Bicycle Store West Phoenix is the most important one, I think. And you can contact Brandon or one of his team members here. Come on down, guys, if you're local. Check out the bikes, talk to Brandon about a fitment, really so you can get some great information on choosing the right bike for you, whether it's a road, a cruiser, a hybrid, a mountain bike. That's what these guys are here for, and they've been serving the Valley for what now? 12, 12 years. years. Yeah, I was gonna say 12, 13 years, long Dang. time. So you can't beat that type of commitment to the, the, the community that they serve. <sighs> Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, the devil's work, I tell you guys, but our social media and if you want to show, throw us some love there keep on all the day-to-day -day events of get out arizona group hikes group rides all the fun and shenanigans that we get into rest of the links are affiliate links my friends follow one or click one of those make a qualifying purchase we get a small commission you guys don't get charged anything additional but it helps out with park passes gas money and coffee money which is the other trifecta we enjoy so much here so on that note really what do we say be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out Arizona. Yeah. We'll see you on that next adventure, my friends. Take care, everybody, and adventure safely. Yeah. Brandon, we'll see you next week. All right. Yeah.